So guys, just wanted to welcome you back to Life is Strange um, and to apologise that I haven't uploaded in the past two days. I do apologise, I've got no excuse. I, I just wasn't with it. But we're going to carry on with episode two today and I hope you all enjoy. episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! He called film Whoa. little pieces what of What the time. fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey! Leave him alone! Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd seen you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. So that was just the, um, was it like a recap? So I've heard the episode two is where basically most of the stuff like kicks off and then it actually brings you into the story a little bit more. So I'm quite looking forward to playing it. I, didn't real I wonder how long that get up button was there, I didn't even realise. <laughs> Being a superhero is dirty work. I need a shower. Yeah. Is there a shower in here? It would be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. Got one from Mum. Hey honey, hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either. Hi, Mummy. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life. Oh, again. it died. Drink up. I can bring you back. I hold the power over life itself. Um Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. 
I heard somebody say she has severe depression. I better not leave without my shower supplies. So where do I keep my shower supplies? Looks like I just keep them all over the floor. Shower supplies. Take. Okay, Max. Let's hit the showers now. Morgan, seriously? Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like, now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Oh, we're not going to let that happen, are we? Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Such a nice person. Oh, I think your name's Kate, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, uh, hey, Kate. Sorry about yesterday. Yeah, I'm sorry you didn't do anything to help. But you're just like everybody else here. Oh, that's a bit harsh. It's not true. I wanted to help, but... But... Whatever. It's done. By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Yeah, gonna have a shower with my clothes on. Let's go. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck! I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. Well, that's not very nice. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave a link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Well, first of all, I'm going to rub out that message. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Well, I honestly hate bullies. I really do. So I think Kate wanted a book. 
I can find her in this disaster of a bedroom. Ugh, no fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Oh, did someone just come in here and just mess my room up even more? No book here. That's not very nice, is it? No, what's this one for? That looks like a book. And nothing here. Check the desk. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. No book here. Ta-da! I do love a clean room. Very zen. Except for that bullshit graffiti. Victoria, of course. That's what I get for making fun of her. Bitch. So where's this bloody book? Yeah, let's get dressed then. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. But you know, he did have the theory of relativity. My desk is a pigsty. Okay, so it's not there. <laughs> I thought maybe because I cleaned up it might have been there. This is goddamn book. Hmm. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. She does have some now strange thoughts. Now I can finally thoughts. take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. That's Victoria's room. Oh, we got a message. So that's that Nathan Prescott guy, probably. Oh, shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious. You in there? Yes, I'm here. Uh, hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why didn't you do anything when David harassed me yesterday? I wanted proof David was in your face. I thought he was different. I'm happy to see that somebody cares. Kate. I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Hmm. Doesn't sound like you, that's awful. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. 
Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan, Nathan Prescott. Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. See, I think I should tell her about, like, what Victoria so did Max, in the bathroom. Can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Hmm. Well, from what I gather, the Prescott's basically in the town and going to the police probably wouldn't be a good idea. Um. If it is that corrupt. But I'd look for proof first. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Oh, shit. Well, I kind of wanted her to be happy. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. How do I cancel the reload? I don't know how to cancel the reload. Oh, not the reload, but back, rewind. How do I cancel it? Okay, it looks like I'm going all the way back. Alright, well, we can skip this. So I want to prove. So we can skip all this. Why does you I Doesn't sound like you I I'm trying to make sure everything is the same when I'm skipping through this. No I I did, did I go Nate All I go on. So I feel sorry for Kate. I wanted to be like happy and whatever. So we could put a book back. So 
so mad. Yeah, let's just go to the police. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police and also Principal Wells. With mm. you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. It looks like whatever I said is she's going to be disappointed. Should I stick with this one or should I just go back? Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal. After getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Oh well, I don't care if I get dragged into it. Okay, what's next on the agenda? What am I doing? Oh, hello. No emoji. Okay. So it looks like I need to go get food. So I have no idea if I'm going the right way. Max, come on over here. What do you want? Martin, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Just a pirate. An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Um. Yeah, fuck it, I busted him. I busted him. him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I was too scared to tell Principal Wells. Please, don't say anything. I'll give you more info later. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Mm, no. no, I don't think I can concentrate on going out to the movies. I just feel like escaping. Fine. Be a damn dirty human. I'll go ape myself. I'm keeping him in the friend zone. I just feel like the story wouldn't let me go do that anyway, so it'd be like, I'd let him down. talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Wait a minute, did he just have a hat on? A 
even though he doesn't. Okay, well he's got a hat on there, I can see it. Didn't look like he had a hat on from the back of his head. So from the previous episode, I've turned the music back on, but I've only like lowered it a bit. Right, so if there was a weird cut there, I am sorry, I'm not sure if there will be or not. I just had to pause the game for a second. Might be a little weird one from where I take out the pause screen. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. So yeah, lately I've been playing. The smell of breakfast and mm, the sound of again. silverware Ugh, makes me feel 13 again. So I went back and started playing Far Cry 4 again. Since Far Cry 5 is coming out, I kind of wanted to just reacquaint myself with the game. I'm actually having a lot of fun. I think I'm about halfway through it. Oh, where's Chloe? Is she even here yet? So she tells me not to be late and then she's not even here. Okay, where's mum? Do I let them stand by here or what? Wait. Do I have to sit down? Here we go. She is a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. 
Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? David hit well, her. Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Mm, there's still no excuse. I'm sorry, but an adult should never hit somebody, even if she is over the age of 18, she is to class as an adult. A man should never hit a girl. That's no excuse to hit a girl. He's an adult. No, there you I go. I don't like <laughs> it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess, I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Um. Ah, uh, Belgian the waffle. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. I'm actually drinking coffee right now, so. One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle. And Nerd graffiti. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Well, drink the coffee. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. Can I, get some I keep beer going back in time. Die? This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. Hmm, let's carry on drinking then. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? Mm -hmm. Do I just... I suppose I just sit. Oh, here we go. That was quick. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. <laughs> And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Is this okay, Max. It'd be like a memory me. game. So 
some old chewing gum? Nada. Not impressed. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Okay then. So keys. Keys, flags, money, and epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Hmm. So is it keys? Flags. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Oh, which one was it? Skull? A uh, skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. So, let me see. So you can actually okay, look at Max, it. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. So it's like a panda, bags, coins, and a parking ticket. Got a parking ticket with a date on twenty one thirty. I went like counting how many cigarettes are in there. So there's seven. Keychain with a panda. Okay then. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Alright, so you got keys? Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck call build. What else? Cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Let's go for the parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Ah, oh, shit. I put the date, not the fucking... We're gonna say 11 a.m. 11, 10 a.m.? That is so wrong. Oh, okay, you. psychic girl. So was it eleven ten a.m.? Is that, that what I said? That was beyond epic fail. Well, we skip pretty much most of that. Okay, so that's Max, pretty cool. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. So am I meant to like count the money as well? Because I don't really know how to count American money because I'm from the UK. So she's got four, is that quarters? The silver ones? And one, two, three, four, five, six, six cents and four quarters. So four quarters would probably make a dollar, right? I'm guessing. So it's 10.34 a.m. Right, okay. Let's go. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Do we have to go through everything again? Right, we're gonna do the money first, because that's the one I probably struggle on. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? It was... It was I don't even know. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. Well, I guess. So that was cool. Show me more. Parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. All right, we can skip this bit. Uh, 10.34 a.m.? 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, yeah, so we did pretty much this. 
She had seven cigarettes. Set. Super amazing. And keys. Yep. There's a panda keychain. A cute robot. Not bad, Super Max. There we go, done it. Oosh. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops! Did you break another cup? Really? There we go. Can't I just... Really? Okay. So I've got to watch it and it'll automatically sell it. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Uh, Trevor drops his glass. Pop drops his glass. Trucker drops a mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? Uh. Oh no, the cop stayed. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor fight and Joyce beats them. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Jukebox goes crazy and cockroach call crawls on it. <laughs> the jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. I don't think it's a cockroach. I didn't see anything on it, so I'm not too sure. Oops! Dude, Did you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. You're so Let cool. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. You are really whiffing this. What do you mean whiffing it? So I actually crawls on the jukebox. Fucking A. This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. So what's a cockroach? Jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? 
So I didn't get them all right. So now what did you pay attention to everything that happens in the next few So Joyce months. just breaks them up. Right, I'm so going to predict. So we can skip this. Uh, trucker drops his mug. Truck. So what happens next? His partner leaves. The cop gets in. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Uh. Joyce stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't Here we wait go. To see what happens. And a cockroach crawls on it. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that. Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? <laughs> You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. So I'm thinking that's probably why I have a nosebleed, is because I'm using my powers too much. Oh, do I have to speak to her? Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. I'm not gonna answer it because... Hey Kate, what's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Why is she so jealous for? Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I wonder who that was. I think he wants my booty. So I am being kind of quiet while I'm playing this game. I don't really want to talk too much because there is a lot of dialogue in the game. I don't want to be talking over it. Is this a race? Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also super sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be. 
like step dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, well, we let's shoot do this. Him. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Yeah. Beer and guns? <laughs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Oh, I can move. See, I like how they do that. They just like change it up from being like talking and being in like a cutscene to, you know. No way. I totally remember going there when I was a kid. I loved the hush puppies. Now the Sinop, I don't want to go there. Hmm. Huh. So yeah, going from like the cutscenes to back in game is quite smooth. So just then she was just kind of like looking at me and like, "Do I have to move?" Hmm. There's a boat. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Beyond repair. Rest in peace. So I'm kind of thinking of just like cutting this point until I actually find the bottles and set them all up unless something interesting happens I'll show you. But until I find the bottles I'll just like, you know, transition to that point. So I'll catch you in a few minutes guys. So guys I've been uh, wandering around the place and I haven't really missed anything. Found some things about Kate in a little house over there, nothing too important. I think Kate's the one who is Chloe's best friend who's gone missing. Um, but basically, I think we're going to use this plank to go across here to get the bottle on that boat. And I think Chloe's got the last bottle we need. Because I can't find any more around the place, and this was the last one, so I thought it would be a good idea just to carry on from here. Sorry about the little transition. It was just I didn't want to be walking around the junkyard looking for bottles and dragging you all along with me. So we're just gonna carry on with this. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. So not sure if you will fall off that, but one more bottle to go. So she says one more bottle to go. Uh no you can't fall off. Oh, got a message from Kate. Well, I'm glad Kate's feeling okay. Because I'm not sure if anybody else did notice, but she had, like, something over the mirror in her room. Which, if you're, like, a s psychology person, that kind of means, like, they're suffering from, like, depression and stuff like that, and they don't like to look at themselves. I have to find dirty-ass bottles while you chill. Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby. And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God? Or the gods? So, bow. We can make the world bow. Are you ready for that? No, I can make the world bow. Oh, yes. Once I figure out exactly how my power works. A god must doth know these things. Amen. And while you build an empire, I'm there to keep you on the path of badassness. And fun. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. Yeah, come on, Chloe, give me that ball. Should we just look at her? <laughs> That's my Chloe. So, I might have to find one more ball. <laughs> I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Ah, well, there's a hint. So, I've been walking around here for a 
a few minutes trying to find this bonfire spot and I was on the other side of the junkyard and I seen some smoke coming up here so well. we're gonna go down here and see if it's down by here what's that by there so I thought like we'd use Chloe's bottle well, now I can deliver this bottle booty to capture the oh wow 